What's going on YouTube? Blaze is back once again for some more Pokemon Korosu. Last time, we finished off Cinnabar Island and made our way into the Indigo Plateau, which is now called, you know, the Outlaw, the Outlaw Plateau, into the Outlaw Road, which is Victory Road. And now we are in the Pokemon League, taking on the final challenges for this ROM pack game. Now, I am very nervous for this because I, I I managed to make it this far and, you know, still made it going on. And, yeah, it took a... I don't even know why I clicked that. It took a while to get everybody up. Like, holy crap, dude. Like, Salamence was just the worst to just level up. It was ridiculous. But I managed to just pull through because, like... I split up the days of, uh, what's it called, like grinding each one up, and it took a long time to just get them up, so I had to just split them. <clears throat> yeah, I was just checking something up with this, but you know, I got them up to, at a reasonable level, at least to what I believe, because I am not sure what is up ahead, so I want to be as safe as possible, and... Without any further ado, let's do this Pokemon tournament, and let's go. We are right there. Hello, Brick. Your tournament match is starting soon, and you have some time for preparation. Are you sure ready to, for the tournament battle? I've done a lot of grinding. Let's do this. Good luck with your battle. Are we live? Okay, let's do this. Live in from Outlaw Plateau in gorgeous Northwest Kanto. This is the Pokemon League tournament. I'm Mike the Mike. Wow, Mike the Ma. What the? F I, I did the same thing. Mike the Meowth. There we go. Mike the Meowth, the world's only known talking Pokemon. Okay, you probably remember me from my successful acting series. I mean, acting career. And I am humbled to be given the opportunity to host such a wonderful tournament. Oh, so, you know, the poor, the Meowth that we always see from Team Rocket is an actor. Yes. We've got a nice exclusive crowd on hand to watch this battle, as well as millions watching on TV from around the globe. Anyways, let's get to the opening match with this exciting tournament. To top off, to tip off this exciting tournament, <clears throat> we got a great matchup. To my right, it's Brick. She's a young girl who is well known in the Civi Islands, but don't let her age fool you. She's a killer. She's taken down some big time opponents. To my left, it's Leslie. Or lastly, whatever. She's well known for her affection of Eevees and its evolutions. It is said that she owns over 100 Eevees that she lives with as companions. That is, that is pretty, that's taken a little too far. All right, has anyone in this to say the battle begins? Brick. No? Okay. How about you, Lastly? Hello, world! I'm here to prove that Eevee is the ultimate Pokemon. <laughs> sure. It's incredibly cute and it's beautiful and powerful evolutions. It's the greatest! All right, the stage is set. Let's do this. Brick versus Lassily. Begin. Okay, so she has evolutions. <laughs> Ultimate and be most beautiful Pokemon. You start off with a freaking um, Flareon. I hopefully this gets one shot. It doesn't. I. Just I didn't even know a Pokemon would ever use secret power. Yeah, but this is Pokemon League, so we gotta get used to seeing Full Restore being used. My god, it's taking hits. Ah, uh, this has Water Absorb, doesn't it? Yep. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. It shouldn't be able to do anything to me, but it can also up. Oh, it does an aura beam. 
So let's slow it down. Okay, we actually didn't miss this one. I can't tell you how many times I had um mud shot miss. It's so annoying. Alright, now it's asleep. So now we're gonna switch to Luxray. Hopefully she's not gonna be smart and withdraw it. Okay. I'm glad she didn't withdraw it. We should take it out easy. Yep. I'm glad too. Vaporeon is freaking bulky. Jolteon. Oh, we got the Pokemon just for you. Or he could come back out. Wow, that Jolteon has Dig? I mean, I know it can learn Dig, but that seems kind of random. Like, I wouldn't expect Dig. But then again, like, I'm not, I'm not a good... Uh, I'm not a good uh, battler anyway, so what do I know? Uh, that was a leafy on. Go to Magmar. Man, you must be a in. You must be a huge EV fiend to just even have like Flareon, Leafy on. Like, that's saying a lot. Like, Vaporeon, I understand. It's Vaporeon. Vaporeon is tanky, like, no tomorrow. Um, Jolteon is really fast, and it has a good special attack. Uh, what else does she have? I'm gonna wait, because she just bring out Flareon again. Good, she didn't heal it this time. Kind of getting on my nerves that it just kept on freaking, um, almost got one shot and then it just, it just does that nonsense. Oh my god, Espeon. Okay, I give it to her. Espeon is really good. Espeon is really good. Oh god. Alright, and I'm guessing her last one is a, a Glaceon. Really? Not an Umbreon? I'm sorry if you hear sirens outside, like, I, I really hate it when they just come out. I... I mean, like I said, she has a, a Flareon and a Leafeon. Like, those are already, like, red flaggish as it is. Because they're not good. No, my beautiful evolutions. Well, you made a mistake. Like, where was your Umbreon? Umbreon is not really that good either, but it's also very tanky. Wow, what an incredible display by Brick and her Pokemon. That was impressive, meow. Hey, I'm just gonna go with that. Lastly, did her best, but she couldn't overcome Brick's powerful Pokemon. Any post-battle thoughts from you two? You bet. You're better than me, Brick. Yes, I am. But maybe Eevees isn't aren't that strong, but they are super sexy. Mm. Eh. They are. They are adorable, but you know. I need some. I need both characters to leave, so our next battles can come in. Oh, they actually let you heal. Okay. Oh, thank God. I was worried that I had to use my um. Uh, four stores. That would have been a problem. Hey, Brick, your tournament match is starting soon. Do you have some time for preparation? Are you ready for your tournament battle? Yes. I did a lot of grinding. <laughs> okay, we're live in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Welcome back, viewers. We are live at the Pokemon Tourney. The second round has been fun so far, and we've got another great battle for you guys. 
Let us introduce you to our competitors. To my right, we've got Brick, the most beautiful trainer of all time. She's a mysterious assassin from Civi Islands. I don't know if you're supposed to, like, have it known that you're an assassin. I think that's actually pretty bad. She's ruthlessly disposed of some Eevee fangirl. But the competition stiffens because of the battler to my left, Rios. He's battled in the tournament on multiple occasions, even going as far as the Sweet 16. And he looked as good as ever in the comeback victory over Jim. Wow, that just, <laughs> that sounds so generic. So before we go at it, does anyone have anything to say? <laughs> no. Both fighters remain silent as they are focused on the battle. All right, let's do this. Rios versus Brick. Begin. Rocker Rios. Oh my god, he has a Gardevoir. You are definitely being put to sleep. I mean, are you sure? Oh my god, that... And it goes automatically into a crit. Like, holy crap. This is, Gardevoir didn't even calm mind, and it already gets a freaking crit psychic. That's ridiculous. And he goes for another psychic. No crit, please. I mean, that still did a lot of damage. I wait. Why? Why would it? I'm so used to it. Just um. Let me see. I honestly don't know if I could just take it out with just Quagsire. I mean, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm gonna hopefully not miss this and lower its speed. And it should wake up now. Okay. Hopefully I'm faster than it now. I am. Okay, good. Oh my god, I am so glad. That it did not calm mine. That would have been a problem. Victory bow. Oh, you know we're switching out to this. Oh, by the way, if you're noticing that I have Quagsire and uh, Firo at level 81. Yeah, they were kind of like the off ones that I feel that they needed like an extra level. Because, you know, it's not always that you see like Firo and Quagsire and like high level. So I thought they they may have needed one more. So I gave them one more. All right, Porygon two. That's a normal type, I think. Yeah, that's a normal type, and it has Trace. So if I go to uh, let's see, I guess go to Quagsire and put it to sleep. I mean, I don't have a problem with it taking, um, uh, wa water absorb, because I don't just hit it with water moves, then. Wow, I did not believe anything would be slower than a Quagsire. So I'm going to full restore again. Oh wow, it has Hyper Beam. Wow, it did. It did a lot of damage. I mean, I doubt. Wait, is Tri Attack physical? I don't know if Tri Attack is physical. I think it's special. It's living through a lot. Way more than I suspected it would. Oh wow, I, I honestly expected him to use a full restore. Aggron. Oh, we're staying in on this. 
I got the move for you, buddy. I like Aggron, but yeah, it's when it comes to taking earthquakes, it doesn't take earthquakes well. Hmm, the Tauros. I mean, the least I want to get hit with is a Thrash. Oh wow, yeah, that's right, it does have Intimidate. Uh... Yo, if we get this Paralysis, that would be dope. Oh wow. Alright, you already know he's gonna, he's gonna heal. And he just hit me with a Swagger. Man, I wish I had a physical move that I could hit him with now, because I know he's gonna heal. He's obviously gonna, um, full store. So I'm just gonna full heal the... He actually did it again. He actually did it again. Okay, I I'm gonna try this again. If he doesn't heal, then he doesn't heal. Okay, he doesn't heal for some reason. I mean, he just pumped me up, I think, to... What is it? I think... Uh, plus six, I guess? I mean, now I... I let, let's try it again. Let's see if he does something different. <laughs> He's just gonna keep swaggering. Yeah, let's switch. Let's not try to get hit by that. But he just non-stop swaggers. I don't even know if I have a, like, a proper switch in for that. I'm gonna have to because if I hit myself in confusion, I'm, it's probably gonna one-shot me. Yeah, typical what will one-shot me is um myself because I have so many freaking swagger boosts. And he just goes for non-stop swaggers. I mean, we did get the Intimidate drop, so... Alright, don't, don't, don't hit yourself. And it hits itself. Of course it does. And it has Hyper Beam! Wow, we kind of ate that up, to be honest. See now, wait, it has to recharge, so... Come on, please hit it, please. Yes! Oh my god, I, I had to take that opportunity because... That, that's just ridiculous. All he told. Oh, we got the mod for you. I had to take that risk. Because, one, I already know, like... Hitting myself in confusion is not gonna kill me. And he had to recharge, so he was not gonna hit another move. And Polytoad ceased to exist. That was kind of annoying. Like, I I don't know why he didn't full heal the Tauros. He just kept on using Swagger. Damn, I hate to lose, but you're really good. Well, he finally said something. Wow, Brick wins again! Ryu's trying to make it tough on her, but it didn't matter. Yes, swagger freaking Tauros. I just love watching her and her Pokemon battle. Such a smart trainer with a tough Pokemon. With tough Pokemon, not a tough Pokemon. So I guess you two will continue to stay quiet? No, I have something to say with Rick. Rick, I've seen a lot of trainers in, over the years, and you're as tough as the, any of them. But you ain't seen nothing yet. Okay, congratulations to Brick. She's part of the field of powerful newcomers who are making tons of noise in this tournament. Brick will advance into round 16. All right, you two, please leave so our next battlers can come on. Okay. Okay, they're letting us heal again. Thank the Lord.
All right, battle number three. Your match is starting soon, but you still have some time for preparation. Are you sure? Yes, let's go. Good luck with your battle. Okay, let's start. Is that a... <laughs> Is that a sprite of a ninja? <laughs> We're back with more live action from the Pokemon tournament. I'm Mike, the talking me off, and this has been a great tourney so far. We started with 64 trainers, but now there are only 16 remaining. There's been a remarkable trend of first time participants dominating this tournament so far. And these two trainers are great examples of this. Over here we have Brick. She's shown off her skills as an assassin. To my left we have Son. Son or Sun? I'm gonna go with Son because, you know, <laughs> he's a ninja. Yeah, he's a mysterious ninja who's decimated his first two opponents. Alright, you two know what time it is. Speak now or forever hold your peace. I am Death Ninja. I am the enemy of the outlaw and the student outlaws. When I am the child when I was a child, the outlaw defeated me and my family in a battle. The shame cursed my family and older sister to commit seppuku. I desire to win this tournament so I can get the chance and vengeance against the outlaw. Wow, what a scary backstory. Now it's time to get this show on the road. It's Assassin vs. Ninja. Brick vs. Son. Begin! It's literally a ninja, wow. Deaf Ninja Son would like to battle. Oh god, he has a Zan Goose. Oh, you are definitely going you you are definitely being put to sleep. Oh my god, yes. Please go to sleep. Oh my god, he sword dance twice. Oh please do not get rid of like do not get rid of the sleep. I will I am lowering your freaking speed. Cause I do I, I am not taking a hit from you. Please, please, please kill it. Come on, come on, come on. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Mm, oh god, it lived! God, it has two swords dance. Wait, why did I all of a sudden go for? Oh my God, kill it! Oh my God, it outsped me, and then I go first. That only means it has counter. Wow, that would scared the. Oh my God, that was a counter Zangoose. It didn't like. Crush Call, I understand. Slash, I understand. Sword Dance, yes. And you have Counter? Oh my god, you are one evil person. That is just evil. Oh, but this is, this is gonna get one shot. Like, Scizor is cool, but, you know, once you have a fire type, it's really can't do anything. Especially if it, out, it gets outsped. A cargo, really? I'm a cargo. I mean, sure. Like, it, to me, it's a cool Pokemon, but uh, it, I don't really think it's that good. It has the times four weakness to fire. I mean, fi wow, to fire, to water. I mean, and I think it's four times weakness to ground as well. Ninjask. Oh yeah, cause. Get it, he's a ninja. He has only five mons. Wait, the first two had um six. Why does he have five? Oh my god. <laughs> Please kill it in one shot. Like, don't let this happen. Come on, it's frail. Just kill it in one shot. Okay, good. Ugh. This guy, man, he's setting up so much stuff. A Gengar. Ooh, this dude got a Gengar. Okay, this is how it's gonna go. Whichever Gengar attacks first is basically just gonna kill the other. Okay, I won. It doesn't matter. I won. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I told you. It's whatever Gengar goes first. I'm a dis... No, I'm a disgrace. Incredible! Brick's run continues. She completely stops Son's momentum. Brick and her Pokemon are just on another level. So any comments from the competitors? Brick? As quiet as usual. How about you, Son? Wow, Son looks a little depressed. Okay. Well, Brick is the winner. Oh wait, that's Meowth, I think. Yeah. Well, Brick is the winner and I thought that was Son. Brick is the winner and advances to the corner finals. Now we get out of here, so that the next battle is saying the same thing. I don't know why I did not do that. Like, I, I completely brain farted, and I just said, "Wow, why didn't I just skip that?" Hello, break. Yeah, starting the same thing. Yes. All right, let's do this. Hello to our viewers from Kanto and around the world. I'm Mike, the Talking Meowth, and this is the Pokemon League Tourney. We are down to our final eight battlers in what has been what have been a thrilling tournament. All right, right here we have two awesome battlers. First, we have Brick. She wasn't too well known before the tourney, but she's turned a few heads here. She's a tough trainer or battler with, who leads an impressive team of Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> impressive. <laughs> quote. And to my left, yet another tournament newcomer, Amanda. She's from a distant region and uses strange foreign Pokemon that I have never seen before. Crystal, did you really do this? Please tell me she's not using Pokemon from other gens. But her Pokemon have been dominating this tournament. She's beaten nearly every Pokemon she has faced with a single blow. These two trainers have been quite quite all well yeah quiet <clears throat> all tournament but has a member of the media i have to ask does anyone have anything to say before the match i do on the for the record i am not a quiet person i am just it's just that competition so far has been subpar Ooh, i didn't want to waste my breath on such weak legs Ooh, but this opponent is worth my time oh not many people can take on a group like the Salone crime family. But even you don't stand a chance, Brick. Oh. Oh, okay. I have traveled all over the world gathering these Pokemon. I have seen societies far more superior and advanced than simple Kanto. Kanto and its Pokemon are inferior. I will win this tournament easily. Wow, what a statement. Indeed. I am really pumped for this battle now. Anyone need a level 30 meow? Ha ha ha. <laughs> let's get let's get to it. Brick versus Amanda. Winner goes to the final four. Begin. Wow, there's more battles. Instead of just the usual four. Crystal, don't tell me you put other Pokemon from well, you did put a Lux race, so. Adele Fox! You cheeky! You cheeky, mmm, my god, you actually put a freaking Delphox in the game. Wow, you cannot be serious, dude. You actually put freaking a Gen 6 mod in here. And you even got the cries for it, too. Like, you don't really see that for, um... Oh, wow. Stoutland, that's a freaking Gen 5 Pokemon. Uh, I guess. It's a normal type. I don't really have anything for normals. Yeah, let's get that Intimidate drop. It kind of does hit hard, too. Oh, damn! It has Intimidate... Oh, my God. Wow. Did I really forget that this Pokemon actually has Intimidate drop, too? I actually did forget that it has Intimidate. We kind of ate that up. Maybe we could kill it with another one. We'll see. Hold on. We do. Oh, yes. Good. 
these Pokemon levels are pretty. She has a Cobalion? What? Okay, now that's just being unfair right now. She has a freaking Cobalion. I already know, it's a Steel Fighting. 72. And it also has Intimidate. Luckily, Flamethrower is a special attacking move. And you are also still fighting. Woo! Get one shot! I would take anything if it avoids getting a sword dance into, uh, what is it, Sacred Sword? From a Cabalion? No, let's not get have that happen. Like, that's just a big no-no. Lucario. Lucario. Why doesn't that not surprise me? I mean, it does hit pretty hard, but I think we could actually one-shot it. Maybe, I don't know. What it could have? It could have Aura Sphere, it could have... Uh, close Combat. Let's see. Oh, look! Aura Sphere! That did some pretty good damage. But we should be able to one-shot it, because it is a Lucario. It doesn't get one-shot. Oh my god, it did not get one shot. This is a bulky Lucario. Because I usually just always see Lucarios get one shot by Earthquake. Or maybe I should have switched to Salamence. I think that would have been the better choice. Come on, come on, come on. It lives off for one HP again. Oh, so we're going to play this game, huh? Okay. You will be really mad if I get a crit earthquake. I'm just letting you know. If I get a crit earthquake, you are going to be mad. Oh, we're just going to... Okay, so I guess that was max damage and I was doing less, uh, the least damage. Like, oh my god. Come on. Yo, this Quacksire is just putting us so much. Ooh. A Talon Flame. I'm gonna stay in, but I'm gonna heal. Another freaking Gen 6 mon, and he has the he has the cry for it too. Cause I know the one thing this thing is gonna do is gonna brave burp. Of course it's gonna brave burp. How did I know? And it's a probably it's probably a Gale Wing Ga uh Talon Flame too. Oh we did we ate that man! And it's killing itself too? Man, this thing is going to get destroyed by Surf now. Yeah, this thing's done. It killed itself. Psst. Freaking Gen 6 and Gen 5 mons, man. Wow. Well, Lucario is Gen 4, I think. Yeah, Gen 4. Incredible. That's a unique sprite, too. Whoa! Wow! What an amazing battle! Two incredible female battlers going at it, and Brick wins it! Brick took it to yet another level and found a way to win again. So how do you guys feel about the battle? I'm simply amazed. I was completely wrong. I've rarely seen anyone battle like that. Yeah, it's called freaking <laughs> no holding back. You, Brick, you and your Pokemon have flawless rhythm. Sure, let's call it that. You battle like a regional you like you battle like the regional champions that I've seen around the world. Incredible. You should be really proud of yourself, Brick. Aw, she gave a little smile. And Brick shows some emotion. Wow. Oh. You're going to the final four. Congratulations. Alright, now get the hell out of here so we have more battles to do. Okay, so battle the final four. I wonder how this is gonna be but we're gonna find out in the next episode because I think this video gone on for too long and I kind of do want to save it up for another video so thanks again for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did 
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. And don't forget to smack up an uppercut to that bell button so you get notified on when these videos get uploaded. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.